In this video, I'm going to solve question 6 from Kauteng 2019. Okay, the question is on parabola grade 12. Okay, this is the question, question 6 from Kauteng 2019. You can see you have 4 questions to solve and the total is 10 marks. Okay, let's get started on the next slide. So question 6, let me get the question again. Okay, this is the question. Question 6 from Gauteng 2019. Okay, question 6. The graphs of f of x is equal to negative 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 and g of x is equal to ax plus q as sketched below. The angle of inclination of g is 135 degrees. Graph g is a tangent to f at point p. Okay, you are given the graph of f which is a parabola and you are given the graph of G, which is a tangent to F at the point P. Okay, so P is the point of contact. Okay, and you are also given the angle of inclination, which is 135 degrees. Okay, 6.1. The question is calculate the coordinate of the turning point of F. The question is 3 marks. Okay, you need to calculate the coordinate of the turning point of F. Okay, the question is 3 marks. Okay, you are given f of x is equal to this okay you can see that f of x is equal to this now with what you are given here to get the coordinate of the turning point you can use calculus okay you take the first derivative of this you equate it to zero and you solve for x so the x value will be the x coordinate of the turning point okay to get the y coordinate of the turning point you plug in the okay you can use calculus to get the coordinate of the turning point or you can use this formula x the x coordinate of the turning point is equal to negative b over 2a a is equal to negative 2 and b is equal to negative 5 and c is equal to 3 okay so you have a b c just like in alphabetical order okay negative 2 negative 5 and 3 okay you can see that now let's use this formula the x coordinate of the turning point is equal to negative b b is negative 5 okay over 2 a a is negative 2 okay now this is equal to you have negative times negative is positive positive divided by negative is negative okay you have 5 over this is 4 right negative 5 over 4 okay so this is the x coordinate of the turning point now to get the y coordinate of the turning point you are going to take this value you plug in there to get the y coordinate of the turning point okay this is equal to negative 2 you plug this wherever you see x okay so you have x there you are going to plug this remember it is square minus 5x you plug this wherever you see x okay and then plus 3 okay now you need to use your calculator what is this equal to let's use the calculator okay so i'm going to use the calculator i've got negative 2 in bracket i have negative 5 over 4, I hope you can follow, square, right, and then negative 5, in bracket I have negative 5 over 4, okay, and then plus 3, this is equal to 49 over 8, okay, 49 over 8, 49 over 8, okay, so this is the y coordinate of the turning point okay and so the turning point the coordinate of the turning point are you have this is the x coordinate negative 5 over 4 and the y coordinate is this okay so this is how you can calculate the coordinate of the turning point of a parabola now the next question 6.2 the question is write down the range of f the question is one mark okay the range of f you can see the range is obtained on the y-axis. You take all the values of y that exist for this.
parabola. So this is the graph of f. So you take it from the bottom to the top, all the values of y that exist for this parabola. Okay, so from the bottom, you have negative infinity. You can see the graph still continue, still continue. Okay, from the bottom, you have negative infinity all the way to that point. So the y coordinate, you already have it. It is 49 over 8. Okay, so from negative infinity all the way to 49 over 8. Okay, so you are going to write it as y. Remember, it is on the y-axis. So you have y element. From the bottom, you have negative infinity all the way to the top. To that value, you have 49 over 8. Okay, remember, you have a square bracket there because 49 over 8 is also part of the range. This is why you have to show it with a square bracket. It is also included. But you have a round bracket there because you don't know what negative infinity is. You still continue. You still continue. You don't know negative infinity. So this is why you have a round bracket there. But you have a square bracket there because this value is also included in the range of this graph, the graph of F. Okay. Or you can write the range alternatively like this. Y less or equal to this value 49 over 8 okay so you have 49 over 8 there you take all the values less than this value you go down so 49 over 8 is there you go down okay so this is why you have less than this value and remember equal because 49 over 8 is also included okay so you can write the range of f like this or like this okay let's carry on let me draw a line here and now it's 6.3. The question is calculate the coordinate of point P, the point of contact of F and G. Okay, the question is for max. Okay, you need to calculate the coordinate of point P, the point of contact of F and G. The question is for max. You can see P is the point of contact of F and G. This is F and this is G. P is the point of contact, okay? So between the parabola and the tangent, okay? To get the point of contact between the parabola and the tangent or between any curve and the tangent, this is the formula that you have to remember. You have the gradient of the tangent is always equal to the first derivative of the equation of that curve. In this case, you have the parabola. Okay, so you take the first derivative of the equation of this parabola, you equate it to the gradient of the tangent. Okay, so this is the gradient of the tangent. Okay, in this case, we have a parabola, which is a curve, and the tangent is g. Okay, so the gradient of the tangent, okay, the tangent is actually g. Let's use g, okay? So in this case, our tangent is g. Okay, I'm going to have the gradient of g, G is the tangent, okay? So I'm going to use the letter G instead of T. So this is equal to the first derivative, okay? Let's get the gradient of the tangent first, okay? The gradient of the tangent, remember, the tangent is G, okay? This is why I have M subscript G, okay? The gradient of the tangent is equal to, you can see you can get the gradient of this line, which is a tangent, using the angle of inclination. You are given the angle of inclination. So you are going to take 10 of 135 degrees. Okay, you can plug this in your calculator. Okay, this is going to be equal to negative 1. Okay, if you don't know that, you can check with your calculator. The tangent of 135 degrees is equal to negative 1. Okay, now we have this. Now let's get the first derivative. Okay, you are given f of x is equal to this, right? You need to get the first derivative from this. Okay, the first derivative is equal to you have 2, the exponent times negative 2. This is negative 4. 2 minus 1 is 1. So you have negative 4x. And then you have negative 5. Okay. x is to the power of 1. 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. And then you have x to the power of 1 minus 1. So you have x to the power of 0, which is 1. So you have this in the end. Okay. So if you are struggling to take the first derivative, please check my videos which I'm going to post on calculus on how to take the first derivative. Okay, I'm going to post a video on calculus how you can take the first derivative. Okay, so for now, the first derivative from this 
you get this okay let's carry on now you have this this is equal to negative one and you have the first derivative you have it there now you can use this formula to get what the point of contact okay so you have this is equal to negative one this is equal to the first derivative this is the first derivative of the equation of the parabola okay so you have negative 4x minus 5 okay you carry on you can take negative 4x to the left it becomes 4x right negative 4x to the left it becomes 4x this is equal to you have negative 1 you take it to the right now you have 1 minus 5 this is minus 4 okay and so x is equal to you divide by 4 on both sides this is going to be negative 1 okay x is equal to negative 1 so this is the x coordinate of the point of contact you need the y coordinate of the point of contact now okay you have the x coordinate of the point of contact now to get the y coordinate of the point of contact you are going to take this value you plug in the equation of f or g because they have the same x value and the same y value at that point so you can take this value you plug in there or in there so that you can get the y coordinate okay but you can see you don't have the equation of g okay you can use the equation of f okay the equation of f is this so you are going to take f of negative one right you take negative one you plug in there so that you can get the y coordinate okay so you are going to take f of negative one this is equal to you have negative 2 times x squared, right? x is equal to negative 1. Remember squared minus 5x. So you have minus 5. This is your x. So you plug negative 1 wherever you see x. Okay. And then you have plus 3. So when you plug this in your calculator, or you can do it mentally, right? This is 5, right? Negative 5 times negative 1. This is 5 plus 3 this is 8 minus 2 right this is 1 so minus 2 so 8 minus 2 this is equal to 6 okay if you're not sure you can check with your calculator okay and so you have the y coordinate of the point of contact now the point of contact p the coordinate are negative 1 this is the x coordinate and the y coordinate is 6 okay Remember, the first coordinate is always x and the second coordinate is always y. Okay, so these are the coordinates of the point of contact, the point P. Okay, so this is how you can calculate the point of contact, the coordinate of the point of contact. Now, let's move on to question 6.4. Okay, let me do it on the next slide. Okay, 6.4. The question is, determine the values of k for which the straight line y is equal to k is not a tangent to y is equal to 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. The question is 2 max. Okay, let me read the question again. Determine the values of k for which the straight line y is equal to k is not a tangent to y is equal to 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. Okay, so let me use this space to explain this question okay i'm going to use this space to explain this question this is what we have to understand the line y is equal to k is actually a horizontal line okay because k is a constant k can be any number okay k is a constant this is why the line y is equal to k is a horizontal line okay remember that now if you have to sketch the graph of y is equal to this okay this is actually a parabola okay you are going to get this okay so this is the graph of this equation you have it here you can see your x-axis and your y-axis and you have this parabola the equation of this parabola is given there okay this is what you have to get now for you to get a tangent to this parabola that is horizontal okay a tangent that is horizontal to this parabola it's going to be like this passing through that point okay this is a tangent a tangent that is horizontal okay it's going to pass through that point okay so this line is a tangent but if you draw any line which is horizontal above this line this is not going to be a tangent 
for example if you have this line you can see this is not a tangent because it's touching the parabola at two point this point and that point so this is not a tangent okay the line is not a tangent because it's touching the parabola at two point for a line to be a tangent it must touch the parabola only at one point or you can draw any other line below this line and again it's not going to be a tangent because it's not going to touch the parabola okay for example this line you can see the line is horizontal but it's not a tangent because it's not touching the parabola at one point okay so this line is not a tangent to the graph to this graph okay now the question is for which values of k the line y is equal to k is not a tangent to this parabola okay if you have to get the coordinate of this point this is a turning point the coordinate are going to be this okay i hope you know how to get the coordinate of the turning point if you use this equation you are going to get the coordinate of the turning point are going to be these ones okay i hope you can get them now from this you know that the equation of this line is y is equal to negative 49 over 8 okay this is the y coordinate it's there and this is the x coordinate it's there okay so the equation of this line is y is equal to negative 49 over 8 this is the equation of this line which is a horizontal line and it is also a tangent to this parabola now for the value of k if the value of k is equal to negative 49 over 8 then you have this line it is a tangent so for this line to be not a horizontal tangent to the parabola the value of k must be any other value beside negative 49 over 8 okay so if you have any other values which are not negative 49 over 8 you are going to have this line not a tangent to this parabola okay so you can take all the values above this value or all the values below this value now you can see that when you have the values of k beside this value you have a horizontal line which is not a tangent to this parabola okay so you are going to say the value of k must be less than this value so that the horizontal line is not a tangent or greater than this value so that the horizontal line is not a tangent okay so the answer to this question is k less than you have less than this value so less than this value negative 49 over 8 or k greater than you have all these values above greater than negative 49 over 8 okay so this is the answer alternatively you can write it as k element from you have negative infinity from the bottom negative infinity all the way to that point negative 49 over 8 negative 49 over 8 union you start from negative 49 over 8 all the way to positive infinity okay so negative 49 over 8 is excluded okay if k is equal to this value then this line is a tangent if it is any other values then y is equal to k is not a tangent to this parabola okay i hope you understand that and we are done with question 6 from Gauteng 2019 until next time i will talk to you soon